Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Nervi campaign playing Davide Etempera for Rome 2. And in the last uh, in the last episode, we lost uh, Nemeta Senna to the Antrobar Confederation, but we have sorted that out by, um, well, dealing with their army. And now we're dealing with the Iceni's army um, that has attacked us. We're a bit beaten up, um, we do have the, uh, don't have the number advantage. But um, I'm sure we can win this. We've got some pretty solid troops. We're in a defense. I think we're in a defense anyway. Um, and there is also like possible threats of invasion from the south as well from the Inservies. But they haven't they haven't uh, aggroed us just yet. So we should be fine there. So anyway, let's jump into this battle. And uh, let's see what happens. So I'll see you guys in a moment on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and the plan is, since we're in this lovely fortification, is we're, just, we're going to put everything outside to start with, and then we're going to put everything inside in a moment. I think I'll start with some stakes, start with doing our stakes and stuff, we'll put them probably like so, I don't know, something like that. Um, put them all like about like that, and then sharp stones, we'll just put... I imagine they'll come from this side as well, but I'm just going to put most of it out the front, slow them down, sharp stones, sharp stones, about there, barricade can go about, uh, can go about here, if I can get it in place, there we go, perfect, right, now the infantry, put these chaps about, so, with some levy freemen, and then axes. axes over here. These, although there is three ways in, and one of them is to the rear, so that's good. I'll probably just keep my general there, and maybe the weak spears, just to keep an eye on that. Um, it's just going to be a bit of an issue with the amount of men we're going to have in this ch small area. All I'm worried about. Put the ax another axe unit over here. Of the really weak spears at the back here, with the general, you can face that way. Mer uh, merc oh, mercenary uh, circus we'll just have here ready to go. Slingers will have three of you out the front here, and then another one there, and one there in reserve, and we'll get this battle underway. Our reinforcements are coming in behind. That is perfect. They've got a long way to go. Long way to go, though. Um, hopefully, the Iceni just make an attack straight away with this small army. Don't really know what they've got. Excellent. Right, we'll just let them all come onto the battlefield, and then we'll send them all in. Is that all of them? That's all of them now. Let's just get you all like so to about there. And then you can run very, very fast. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, okay, the cavalry is just going to come charging in. It's a good thing we put stakes up first. Because the AI is so stupid, it's going to just charge its stuff in, its cavalry in first. And it's going to get shot by slingers. I'd like to keep hold you on hold fire. Uh, shoot these ones. Look at these cavalry, they're just so confused what to do, and they're gonna get through, they're gonna then ch run into stakes, and they're gonna die. Hopefully, they're not really going at quick enough pace. Uh, hold your fire. Right, hold your fire, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Actually, shoot these ones. Shoot those ones. If you're going to shoot any of them, shoot those ones. Okay, first they've got to stand here at the barricades, it would seem. I'm quite happy with them doing that. Shoot these uh, missile calves nicely up. Yeah, they'll break. Just like that. Yep, my uh, reinforcements under no threat. Right, they're broken. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Actually, 
Her infantry coming in. Shoot these guys. We're going to need to use every bit of ammunition we have. Um, they seem like they have no skirmishes over here. I could be wrong. Uh, we need to actually focus on these guys, but one one target at a time. Actually, so can you someone kill one of these guys? This could be a long siege, I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, the cavalry's already making a beeline, I think, for my army over here. Um, hmm, we'll see. Need to be aware of that. Start shooting everything back there. Can you just reposition, please? Excuse me. Start shooting over there. Yeah, they're making a beeline, so... These guys need to get ready. Come on! Come on, Gauls, we need you to up here straight away. Oh no, okay, carry on. They're gonna carry on. They even fighting? They are ever so slightly fighting. Hold your fire. Sling and shoot everything back here. I've got more slingers in. I could just actually camp everything back here, which is probably what I'm going to do for now. Because we've got a lot in here as as it is anyway. Uh, don't really want you in combat. Get out. Get out. Get out. Um, I might send my slingers around the side. Might be worth an idea. Since they've got no cavalry left. It's always worth an idea. Worth a try anyway. Um, right, let's, I'm just going to be tackling with these slingers, it seems. Trying to get them not to just charge in here and, like they're about to do now. Yeah, right. You just pull back like so. Let's get these slingers around the side. Then we're going to have lots of infantry packed up the back here. And we will just have to wait it out. Lots of infantry packed up the back here. Where's the other? This unit's really slow. <laughs> there we go. And you get back inside. Okay, we have slingers now outside our walls. This is what we need to deal with. This is when I could do with cavalry. What are these? These are... I presume these are uh, also slingers. They might be bows. They look like they're just throwing rocks. They may just be throwing... I'm not quite sure. They look like they're just throwing rocks. Can you stop? Oh, brilliant. Just stop doing that. Get back. Here we go. I just need to beat their slingers. Then we should be fine. You ones can be on skirmish mode. Okay, we're breaking those slingers really, really good. Right, that's okay. We looks it's look looking fine just now. The rest of the army is arriving. Send in these berserkers. Looking a little beaten up. 
Slingers. Lots of units in here now. Okay, look at that. It's chaos. Okay, you two start shooting over here, please. Slingers, no. No, no, no. Keep them moving. All I can say, right? Are they breaking? No, but they are. I'd say they're winning that fight. I'm not sure. Hmm. No, I'm not really sure at all. Just keep killing these guys. Keep on killing them. If they keep sucking their troops in here, though, then I can surround them. But they've still got a lot of troops arriving. And they've got stuff all the way over here. What are they doing? So bizarre, but we are breaking more stuff. Is this the cav? Yeah, it's been in here a long time, though. Hmm. These are breaking. That's interesting. They're wavering already. That is bizarre. Um, they're doing just fine. Yeah, they're holding all right. Yeah, no need to charge in there. Um, you can you start shooting there, please? Start shooting them. Start shooting them. Slingers, get out of combat. You'll be you'll be my biggest problem all game. It's not even like the flipping I see you that the problem. It's you. Okay, perfect. They're breaking. Start shooting these guys up oh, very quickly. Uh, right, how many more spears have got to come in? A couple more. About three. I could probably overwhelm them with this army that's just here. With those spears, and then I could start encircling. That should be the plan. And it probably will be. I mean, the balance power's looking okay now, actually. How much? Yeah, these slingers are getting absolutely trashed. Jeez, that's good. Um, you're back. You can start firing on them. There's quite a few. I mean, there are a lot of bloodied up Gauls back here, but I don't think many of them are actually, like, too damaged. Like, have lost many men. Okay, they're broken permanently. You start shooting all the way back here. Actually, just shoot them. Get the clear. You got a clear line of sight on them. Right, all slingers are broken. Actually, you just shoot them. What units use all its ammo? Oh, these slingers. Okay, these ones that are all the way out here. Um, well, you just pull back. There's no need for you to set, send you in. Okay, we're running out of ammo on slingers. Running out of plan B. Uh, plan A, anyway. Plan B will have to come into into fruition soon. What are you doing here? Can you get out? I'm gonna send in another unit of these guys, Berserkers. Because they are starting to look a little weak. And they run out of Slingers now, so I can quite happily blob up a little bit more. Slingers, can you just get out? You've not even got any ammo, so please do get out. I've got plenty of units left. Um, but I would like to keep as many as possible just to deal with the plan. Men, that I, men are wavering. Not so good. What's wavering? The spears. Oh, 109, yeah. Okay. I will send in this other unit of swords then. Is this swords? Can you go in? Thank you. Right, slingers. Whoever has ammo left. Okay, I see someone with ammo. Oh, it's the spears here. Brilliant. Um, can you go all the way back there? 
just don't want flipping slingers in here, okay? Get out. If you ain't got any ammo, I kind of want you to move on. Right, I'm going to start turning all these like so. Berserkers. Right. Is that the last spear? This is the last spear coming in here. Okay. You still have ammo. Shoot your ammo back there. Send you in. Hold the line. We're breaking more stuff. We're sending in... It's the cavalry that's been there for ages, though. I've not seen any infantry break. And that... Infantry's now breaking. Um, right, we need to start sending these troops around the side. Send the freemen in. Send these guys in. Right, anyone with ammo left, I want to come around the side. You got ammo left? You do. You have ammo left. Get around the side. Right, we can surround all this, we can break it. We just then need to not get broken ourselves as we get surrounded. We still have a unit of berserkers, they're kind of dedicated for the front. As is my general. Right, surround you all one by one. You're all slingers and stuff, so that's fine. We should be able, I mean, they should in time just break us down and kill us. But I'm going to surround these guys. I'm going to break them. Is there a rally? Yeah, let's just slap a rally on then. Don't know why I hadn't done that before. The spears are back. Brilliant. You go in. You go in. Right, we're surrounding these guys. Brilliant. They're going to... Oh, well, that's actually not the unit that I wanted to... Right, Berserker's going in. Great. Lots of stuff breaking now. Look at that. All that huge break. Get in there. Get in there. Start, start killing with melee. Don't just stand there and shoot them. Right, perfect. Clearly they're not happy with just standing here and dying. So we'll sort these guys out. Come on, charge them down. Um, I'll send you over here. Get over here. Get into combat. Get into combat. I'm going to chop down as many of these guys as possible. Look at... Like, like look at that. That's a lot of men there. That could be killed. A lot of men. Send in the spears. Help bulk that back up. <sighs> Slingers, I don't know why you're in here. And at this point, I don't care if you die. <laughs> it's just been a problem all game. What can I do? Inspire. Let's inspire all the men. All the men in here. So inspire them all. Right. That's a lot of them dead. But I can still see quite a few. Anyway, you go in there. Kill these guys. Go in here. Go in here. Start shooting these guys. There we go. Right. Deal with these guys in time. Good. I want every single unit to use all its ammo up. Right. Go in. Looks like cavalry's coming back. Right. I think we've got this. Thank God. That is a long battle. 
a long, long battle. But we should now be able to attack Nometa Center with some battered armies and some slightly fresher armies. Jesus, that was a long one. Come on, come on, come on. Just break these guys. I want to catch as many of these guys as possible. That's what they get for fighting the the Belgae or whatever they're called. Uh, this cavalry's still alive. That's not so much of a... Well, actually, it's covered by the arch towers. There's no threat there. This battle like, might last a little longer because they've got a general left. I presume the other general's dead. Or something like that. The cavalry's just going to charge in here. It's just... There's not much you can do. These forts are nasty. Like, I don't know, like, what I'd do. I'd probably knock down some halt, some other breaches, like, just to f um, spread them out. And I'd probably skirmish the hell out of them. I wouldn't also send in my cavalry straight away. The AI I found in Rome likes to do that, strangely. It just thinks that they can win the day with the cavalry when, in reality, the cavalry's probably going to die straight away. There's so much stuff in here. So much stuff. There we go. A huge break going on now. Just drop a rally. Uh, you can also drop a rally. Why not? There we go. Final orders cut these guys down. There shouldn't be many of them left. Looks like, yeah, I mean, most of them are going to break trying to get away from uh, these arch towers. Jeez. Yeah, there's like none of them left now. Here we go. The superior armies of the of the Nervi are going to overwhelm the, Bre the Britons. I was about to call them the Bretons, but no, they're not from Brittany. Let's just br kill this general, come on. His spears aren't that great. I was, I was worried about his Ambak toy, but they're really not that great. And these uh, these guys are pretty... Kludarg, Goss, or whatever they're called. They're pretty nasty as well. They're breaking. Come on. Die already. They're breaking. Slowly. We for blood and blood. There we go. They're broke. Everyone's gone. End the battle because I've not got any cavalry to catch them. Heroic victory. Jesus. There's an insane amount of kills for some of these units. I only lost 800 men. Um, Two. Well, 5,000. Um, we were ever so slightly outnumbered. That's not that bad then. So I will see you guys back on the campaign map in a moment. Okay, so we are back, and we only lost one unit, some mercenaries, uh, which that's not too bad. I don't mind losing mercs. Um, probably the best unit to lose. I will kill the captains because that will give us a thousand. That is insane. Um, so yeah, now we can probably. That's that was even in our end. We hadn't even ended the turn. That was all about that, basically. Wow. So this is probably we're not probably going to get many through many turns this uh, this episode, but we had a great battle. Uh, put it like that. It will seem that. I don't know, it looks like they might have retreated. It looks like the Frisians may have been too strong for them. Um, Anori want me to join in a war against the score Dissy. I'm kind of okay for now. I have no reason to join in that war. Um, these guys, not quite sure what they're doing. They want a non-aggression pack now, the Frisians. Oh, they are actually military allies with these guys now. I will... Yeah, sure, actually. Yeah, I don't mind giving that to you. Okay, so maybe we're not going to take Frisia. Maybe we're going to just secure it, this whole region through military allies. We'll see. New political appointment. One of the local chief, uh, chieftains has seen the fortitude of leadership and this man has recommended him for more responsibility. Increase in rank. Okay. Did we just, like, get a new character or something? 
I don't know. Don't know what quite happened there. Oh, I think it might be like one of these guys down here. Well, fair enough. Um, <laughs> okay. Whatever. Um, you can't reach. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Uh, just carry on like so then. You have upgrades that you need to do. I'm going to give you replenishment. That will be probably the one you need the most. I could actually upgrade that again. But I'm going to put on... Um, more morale would be pretty handy. Just for, uh, for some units. Could be very handy. Um, can I replace? I can replace that mercenary unit. I can actually get another one. And I think I will. They're very good. I could do a cavalry, but I don't know whether I want this cavalry. I don't actually think I can recruit any of my own just yet either, actually. Oh, that's not so good. Um, do I want to upgrade this? I could. It certainly helps with happiness and growth. Is it what I want right now? Or do I want to build something over here in Octodoron? We're good for food, actually. For the first time in a while, we're actually looking good for food. Um, it's a small miracle. I won't lie. Uh, could you re I'm gonna recruit some stuff, actually. Just recruit infantry. This is 16 stack. I could just recruit two units, I think. And then the rest will be, um, cavalry. When I eventually can find some cavalry that I want and need. Well, I think it's down here, actually, isn't it? Trevorum, yeah. Um, 200 and wealth. I don't mind giving up my wealth. I don't really want to give up food, but that does actually give me better cav. If I go down meeting ground, do I eventually get the better cav? It's a lie, I don't. Um, well, I'm going to go with just that one, then. I'm going to go with the military. I can sort out my cavalry state uh, situation El other another time. But anyway, I'm like got some good uh, good cavalry through like mercenaries. That's not that bad actually. Um, I'm gonna recruit some. Actually, no, I'm not gonna recruit anything just yet. I'd like to see if I can get a friendship going with these um, these guys. Oh yeah, hi. Well, I want my money back then that you took off me. Um, and I know you have it. Yep, that's still high. Well, more. Yep. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, right? Right, we're going to get a lot of money back. Oh, there we go. Just take the 3,000 that you can offer me. Defensive alliance. No, I'm not surprised. I'm not giving you military access because I don't want to give anyone military access. You can get perfectly to the coast. You can also ask these guys for the military access if needs be. Right, I can now see these guys. Uh, the Boudini. They are just... They are nomadic. Yet they have... Yet they have homes. Um... I don't want anything else with you. I just want non-aggression. I'm not that you're really any threat to me at, at the moment. Um, you really like me. You hate me. I think this is going to be my way of expansion next. I mean, the Aedia are starting to dislike me slowly as well. I'd like to see if I can get some of these guys to join my confederation. But I don't think it's going to happen. Don't think it's going to happen one bit. Um, but we've got a trade. That's always good. Um, trade's very, very good. I don't know why I'm coming back on that. Um, do I want to spend money on this? Does help with growth massively. I mean, growth right now is at one. And that would actually would pop it up quite nicely. Shrine of Rose Murta? Yeah, go on then. Let's build a Shrine of Rose Murta. By the time we want it, it's going to take forever anyway to build. Um, we're going to get more growth anyway coming in. This is going to be really good. We're going to be growing in cities in no time now. After many turns of complaining about no growth, we'll be popping out the babies in no time. So I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and healthy and whatnot in this... Uh, Torrid time. I am going to be moving very soon back to um, back to Yorkshire. Um, basically, Lincoln. Uh, well, there could be a, a lockdown going on in the UK, so I don't really want to be stuck in Lincoln. Um, with um, when I could be home and with lots of food, so I will probably be um, moving back. So there may be a few days of inactivity 
I may not be putting any videos up while I sort out moving back. I may be able to get some videos out. I will see um, if I have the time. Basically, there's a lot of stuff to move, and uh, yeah, that's not that's not so good. Um, but yes, it shouldn't be too bad. But I, if I do disappear for a few days, then I will be back just as quickly. Do not worry. And an ally has attacked. Um, yeah, I'll enter the war in the um, Nori's side. Yeah, that's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. I didn't even realize I was allied with the Nori, to be honest. I thought I was... Uh, well, I thought I had a non-aggression. No, there's no way in hell you're getting a peace treaty. Especially when you're demanding 200 off me. It would be peace treaty. You become a vassal. At best. That is the best you could ask for. Recruit a champion. I may just do that. Oh, I don't know if I like their colour scheme. Why would they be that colour scheme when they have... They are the Frisian Confederation, I just realised. So they must have another territory. Because they were just Frisia, I'm pretty sure, at one point. I might be wrong, but they formed a confederation. Venatai have been encountered. The unhappy population... Uh, faction destroyed Nori. Oh my god, they're already gone? They just went like that? Oh, oh, they've got attacked by the Erevisky Confederation. So I'm at war with these guys for no reason. Probably wasn't the best move, but oh well. They may make peace at some point. Um, right, this is a fairly healthy stack now, actually. Fairly healthy stack. And I'm going to just surround this army here. And I will besiege. Uh, we could actually assault. I will just first deal with this army outside. Get rid of that. And yep. Yeah, as I thought. Right. Destroy them. 100. Shouldn't lose a man then. If it's 100% I shouldn't lose a man. Right. Now we have this army in support. We should really, really... <laughs> Well, win this very well. So, 83%. And the Meta Center is ours again. It only stayed out of our hands for a couple of turns. Or a couple of episodes. We lost the cavalry. Oh, God's sake. I'll replace that cavalry. With some mercs, I presume. Uh, they're very expensive. I don't know if I really want to spend that amount of money on them. Um, do you kind of want some of these guys, though. These bell... Bell J Mercery Spearband. They're pretty. Look, they look pretty damn good. They also cost a fair bit. Um. Yeah, I could actually. I will. You know what? We'll spend the money on this really expensive cavalry unit that we definitely don't need, but I want. Um. <laughs> um right. Apart from that, let's see what there is. Okay, it looks great for food and situation. We've now got. Well, we actually have a meeting ground here, so I could make this into a horse pen. Go for it. Let's make a horse pen. Let's put... Are we actually making food here? No, we're not. Breading games... We are not making food. We could actually just put it on tax. Migration. Import food. Yeah, I'm going to put it on tax. Tribute. Um, we have another tech to do. I would like... Hmm... Well, that one's done there. I think I'm going to go with some in the military because I've not done much military. Um, headhunt could be useful for four turns. I will do a headhunt. Yeah, they're not happy here, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, if I export food here or import food, that actually just bring two food in. Two growth. Not really needing it right now. The growth from like my migration is perfectly fine. And I've got plenty of food. Not like... Don't need to really have edicts that are set for food. Um, okay, so Germania is not happy ever so slightly. Why is that? Taxes, cultural differences, buildings. Well, we'll sort that out in time. We'll sort that out in time. I'd like to get these guys as an ally, really. But I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Especially when they're fighting people over there and I don't really want to fight at all. I really want to go over here. Would the Iceni want peace? No. I just destroyed like two of your armies. You don't have an army over here. Well, you do. 
It's a very, very small one. It's really not worth calling an army. But um, I think the plan next is to go after these, uh, certainly after this settlement here, the Carnutes. I may then break my treaties with the ARD, I don't know. Or we could strike out into Italy next, because that would also be quite kind of pretty cool. Um, I'm, let's just look at my missions quickly. Um, I've got to hold Latium. Uh, well, if I want to do a military one, this one. I think the most likely to do is the economic right now. We've got to hold two of the territories. Narvanensis isn't far away. Swabia, I don't think I could ever hold. That's the only thing. I'm probably just going to go until I've, like, I just think this campaign's kind of, like, finished and I've conquered like enough stuff that I think I just I've just won it. Yeah, maybe like just take all of Gaul. That would be a good start. Take all of Gaul. Maybe take all of Italy as well. That would be a pretty good start. We'll see where we go from there. If people are still enjoying this campaign, then we can carry on from there. But that is probably where I'm going to wrap up this episode, guys. So if you've enjoyed, then please do leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, 